Lerone, congratulations on another dominant win. Yeah. Are you surprised that Kulibal survived that third round because you're attacking for the knockout, you're attacking for submissions with the rare naked choke? Were you surprised by how he made it out of there? Yeah, super surprised, but he's a tough cookie, man. And um, when you're fighting in the UFC at the top level, them guys are just outside of the top 15. It's hard to get them out of there. Um, the liver kick was, was flush. The elbows from the top, even the dash shot was deep, um, and he survived, man, but credit to, credit to him, he's a warrior. You had the stare down again at the end of round one, just like last time, you know, you absolutely <coughs> love to have a war in there, and, you know, it was fairly competitive in that first round, but you absolutely ran away with it in rounds two and three. Do you think when you looked into his eyes, you saw that he didn't want to be there on the feet with you? No, he did want to be there, and that's what I loved, and that's what, that's what reared me on, and in the second round, I was thinking, I'm warm now, let's go. I think some people in the crowd, you know, he dropped to the floor. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen the replay and it, and it seemed like it was the kick that dropped him, but for some people, they thought that his knee could have blown out. From mm -hmm. your perspective, did you see that it was the kick that dropped him? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was the kick. I seen him wincing on the ground. Um, I think he wanted out there, but I, I just needed to land a few little clean strikes and it would have been over, but he stayed in there. Mind credit to him. I mean, you've been going about your business. I don't want to say quietly because everyone in the UK knows how great you are, but do you feel like worldwide, you're still underrated, and is that why, you know, obviously you're on a route to greatness for your own journey, but you want to go out there and show the world just how good you are, and you don't want to be underrated anymore. Yeah, it's just that I'm not a big talker, innit? That's it. Like, if you're a big talker out here, you get noticed. Um, so I'm trying to do it with my fighting and, and the skills, but I need to be finishing fights, really. Um, but it is what it is, man. I'm, I'm, I'm competing at the top level in the world. I'm still I'm 13 and all. And that's six fights in the UFC, six fights at the top level, still undefeated, and um, we're heading to the top. You've been asked, you know, you want top 15 next. We spoke about potentially the likes of Danny Ige, but I like the Edson Barboza fight, and there's a card in Brazil in November, and that'd be a pretty cool trip for you, wouldn't it? Any of them guys would be a top fight, man. I'm here to test myself against the best in the world. That's why we're doing this. Um, there's no fights I'm running from. We're ready for anyone, we'll take anyone. November, December, let's go. And momentum's been something that you've been searching for for a couple of years now. This is the first time you've had two fights in the same calendar year in two years. So I don't want to say relief is what you're feeling, but it's a feeling that you've not had in a couple of years now, is it, getting that momentum back? How good does that feel? That's the main, that's the key to success in my, in my eyes. Um, I just need to be active, stay active, get a little run going, keep that momentum going um, and get to the top that way. And... I know you're probably sick of hearing about Nathaniel Wood, but you guys, you know, you had a, a it wasn't an altercation by any means at the hotel. It was, it was a chat and it seems like whatever beef was there is initially squashed for now. You know, you've got the top, fit, top 15 on your mind. Um, is, that, is that something that in your mind now that that's over or oh, it's is there dead. still something it, it, there? No, it's dead. It's dead. Obviously, the, the, we've sold the, the fight sold. If the UFC want to make that fight, it'll happen, in it? Everyone wants to see that fight, but it's dead. He come up to me in the back um, after that and it, it's dead, in it? It's just some internet stuff. Uh, it's nothing too deep, but like I said, anybody in my division is food to me. Well done on the win, the round. Thank you. Everyone just over here, so I won't I won't mention anything about Nathaniel Wood. Yeah, please. <laughs> but um, you know, you you've done back to back in Abu Dhabi and now back to back in London. Yeah. You said about you know letting your fists do the talking, but do you think perhaps if you went stateside and perhaps did some fights over in the US, that would perhaps help get you noticed a little bit more? For sure. I want to travel the world with this. Uh, it's a short career. I love fighting. I love traveling. So why not blend them together? I love to fight all over the world. Um, I've not done the states yet. So end of the year, the States would be perfect for me. Uh, get, get some different experience, uh, put my name out there in the States, go and take over the States. Um, yeah, man, I love that. And is there a, a time frame in mind that you'd like to get back in there? I'd love to have one more fight this year, uh, November, December maybe. That would be a good time for me. Get a little rest in now, a little four weeks. Family obviously still take over. I'm always in the gym anyway. Uh, but yeah, November, December. Maybe like an MSG card in November? Oh, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. I'm sure the coaches and the team would love to get over there too. Uh, let's make that happen. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you. Laura? Yeah.
Uh, is there any better way to spend your birthday than to, to go out there and win in front of the O2 crowd? There's no better way, obviously. Like I said before, I'd love a finish. I'm, I've not had a finish for a while now since October. I've not, obviously, I've only fought three times, but last two uh, was decisions. But it's great to get a win on my birthday, so I'm thankful for that. I've come out of come out the fight unscathed. Um, what a birthday! Yeah. And what does the night look like from here now, going out, celebrating the win and your birthday? What's, food. What's the I just want food. That's all I do. I don't drink. So food, food with the team, go and chill out, go and enjoy it. Um, I want to call my mum after here, make sure she's OK, because she don't sleep. She can't, she can't relax if I'm fighting. Um, so it'll be good, man. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank happy you, brother. Birthday. Thank you. Congratulations and happy birthday. Thank you. Um, your mum's going to be very pleased because you look unfazed and untouched. Yeah. So well done tonight. Um, I want to know, you probably hear these questions all the time, but your knee injury, being shot, these are huge moments in your life and adversities you had to come over. Mm -hmm. Does that make it all the more special tonight, performing at the O2 Arena? Yeah, for sure, man. My life's like a movie. It's crazy. I'm sure I'm definitely going to write a book when, not, when this is all wrapped up. Um, been through it all, been through it all, bounced back from everything, and I've got, I've got purpose, definitely. I've got purpose, and we're, we're going to get there together as nice. a team. Well, again, the performance tonight was so dominant and you got the stoppage tonight. Is that, do you go out all the time looking for the stoppage or is it when it comes? It's just when it comes. Like, like I said, it, I hurt him a few times. I tried to get the finish. Didn't get the finish, but uh, that's what we always go out to try and get the finish. I'm a finisher. I, f I like to see myself as a finisher. Yeah, well done tonight. Brilliant work. Thank you. All done. Yeah, nice one. Thank you.